tonight on First Look, we are getting up close and personal with things that go bump in the night. And there's a place here in Brooklyn that has a morbid fascination with breathing life back into the dead. The Morbid Anatomy Museum is home to all manner of spooky subjects, which is why I'm joined today by Eden Grinchpan, my friend and local Brooklynite, on today's adventure. Are you ready to get freaky? Absolutely. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> And as our tour begins, we head upstairs to the exhibition space where today we're getting a first-hand account of 20th century stage magic. There was a magician in the early 20th century named Howard Thurston. He was a contemporary of Houdini. Are these what he used in his show? Yeah, these are actual props that Thurston used wow. in his show. So it's definitely morbid. The Met's not going to show yeah. this. What museum would show that? And that's what we want to do. We want to serve that. Whoa. This mummy is awesome. This is called the Lugster Mummy. Its name was apparently Ra Ra Ra. <laughs> Okay, I admit, I'm a little jumpy, but these magic items are nothing compared to what's waiting for us in the next room. I feel like one thing I'm seeing a lot of here is taxidermy. Taxidermy is a really big part of what we do. We oh, have one really good wow. piece right in here as well. Two-headed duck? This is a little that's chick. So cute. This is one of the most popular things oh in the library. Gosh. Can I touch it? Yeah, go for it. Oh my god. We actually offer classes in anthropomorphic taxidermy. We have one today. Would oh. you be interested in taking it? Sure, why not? Okay, yes, cool. Please. I'm not gonna lie. Even in high school, I hated dissecting anything, so I would skip school on those days. Oh, those were like my days. Like, I love that stuff. I would be the one like flicking things at my friends. Gross, but not as gross as these bad boys. The mice have been humanely sourced, but that doesn't make them any less creepy. Luckily, we have Divya Arenthema, <laughs> the resident taxidermist and our instructor for today. So I'm going to demonstrate the skinning of the mouse. That's like the part that everyone likes to watch. And you can see that I've been sort of massaging my mouse here. It's cold. It's frozen. They look kind of sad. They might be kind of wet. It's OK. They're, it's going to go through a long journey before it's cute again. To peel it off. Now I'm sort of using his anatomy to get him undressed, sort of. All right, demo's over. Time to choose our mouse. And heads up, this next part is not for the squeamish. There's nothing to be scared of as long as you oh don't stab it. Oh, yeah. I don't know you if can I can do this. Chair. You can. And I do it like this, not to be gross, but because gravity really helps you here. This really moves that skin away. If you do end up blowing it out, it's fine. What do you mean by blowing it out? <laughs> uh, tearing the hole bigger. Oh. I'm trying with all I have to do this. If Eden wasn't here, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> and the tail comes right out, like a little meat tentacle. Whoa! Why? This is gnarly. Oh my gosh, that is so look at its face. I need another one. So you're good at cutting, right? I got you, girl. All right. <laughs> God, it does smell. It smells so bad. It's definitely a, a smelly situation. I really can't get past that. It smells like fishy rot. Like nasty fishy meat. OK, yes, it's smelly. But stink aside, we're getting the hang of it. That's your job. Just Frank off. Sprinkle. This is so disgusting. Yo, check that out. Yeah. I did it! It's so gross. Don't let it. Oh, God. Oh. But thankfully, mercifully, the hard part's over. Now it's time to get crafty. So are you ready to decorate? This yes. is the fun part. Yeah. Yep, yes. it is. I really think we should do like ombre. And painting can't be any worse than skinning, right? I cannot believe I'm painting a mouse. And you're doing it so well. So after a quick bath and a blow dry, it's time for our taxidermy to take shape. First thing you'll put in is the head. And you kind of shaped it like oh the shape Whoa. of his head. So yeah. His is back. So his face is back. Yeah. Back to say the ears are pretty cute. And you'll put your tail in. <gasps> this is so cool. It's coming back to life. We're sewing up a mouse. Oh, oh she looks really cute. It's like a little rabbit. Our mouse has a body, but now she needs personality. Hashtag accessories. Do the skirt first. Okay. And go from there. <laughs> Wait, just look at <laughs> We could do a flat. Oh, good idea. That's what we'll do instead good of flying. Idea. Okay. I love it. Well, Divya, thank you so much for today. It's been quite the experience. And we had the best time. <laughs> Great, it was a pleasure. And Eden, I couldn't have done this without Aww, you. Oh, thank Teamwork. you. I had the best time. We created Penny. 
Yeah, she's fantastic. <laughs> the things I do for this show. <laughs>